Rubber injection molding is a process that uses heat and pressure to transform uncured rubber into a usable product. The process involves the following steps. Preparation of the rubber compound. The rubber compound is a mixture of rubber, fillers, and additives that is specifically formulated for the desired application. The compound is heated to a temperature of 70 to 110 degrees Celsius to make it flowable. Injection of the rubber compound into the mold. The rubber compound is injected into the mold cavity under pressure. The pressure forces the rubber to flow into all the details of the mold cavity. Curing of the rubber. The mold is then closed and heated to a temperature of 150 to 180 degrees Celsius. The heat causes the rubber to cure or vulcanize. Vulcanization is a chemical reaction that crosslinks the polymer chains in the rubber, making it strong and durable. Demolding of the rubber part. Once the rubber is cured, the mold is opened and the rubber part is removed. Rubber injection molding is a versatile process that can be used to produce a wide variety of rubber parts. The process is typically used to produce parts that require high precision and complex geometries. Some common examples of rubber parts that are produced using injection molding include O-rings and gaskets, hoses and tubing, seals, footwear and toys, and medical devices. The rubber injection molding process has several advantages over other rubber molding processes, such as compression molding and transfer molding. These advantages include higher precision, more complex geometries, shorter cycle times, less waste, and better repeatability. The rubber injection molding process is a complex process that requires careful control of the temperature, pressure, and curing time. However, the process can be very efficient and produce high-quality rubber parts. Here are some of the differences between plastic and rubber injection molding. Temperature. Rubber injection molding requires lower temperatures than plastic injection molding. This is because rubber compounds are more sensitive to heat than plastics. Curing. Rubber injection molding requires a curing step. This is because rubber compounds are not solid at room temperature. The curing step crosslinks the polymer chains in the rubber, making it strong and durable. 